Hello, hi, I'm Dr. Angelina and I'm a pediatrician at the Subang Jaya Medical Center. The stress, grief, fear, isolation and uncertainty created by this pandemic has affected all of us, young and old. Many children and teens are having an especially tough time coping emotionally and mentally. As parents, caregivers, you have to recognize the signs of stress in your child. Infants, toddlers and young children may show regressional behavior in their skills and developmental milestones. They can become more irritable, they can develop disturbed sleep patterns, there might be issues with feeding and there could be more separation anxiety than is usual. Some children might have aggressive tantrums and there can be a resurgence of bedwetting when previously there was none. Older children and adolescents could have mood changes, they can have depression, they can have poor sleep patterns, they can develop poor focus and concentration, and there can be aggressive behaviour as well. There could also be a change in appetite, poor focus and concentration, suicidal ideation and thoughts, illegal substance abuse, and lack of basic personal hygiene. You should communicate with them, you should listen to them, you should stick to a routine, minimize screen time and organize activities if at all possible. You have to reassure your children during this time of COVID. Try not to talk about it all the time and limit their exposure via social media. You can also plan family outdoor activities like cycling, jogging, cooking, etc. Whenever possible, Outdoor activities would really help to alleviate their mood. Check your own mental health and if needs be, seek professional help from telehealth platforms. Last but not least, stay positive and stay safe.